place There's no other place like it The thrill of it all puts a smile on your face For one more admission price, enjoy 18 great adult rides, 16 junior rides, swimming and plenty of sheltered and shaded picnic areas Parking's free and picnic baskets are welcome For more information, call 539-8864 All for the fun of it, Fantasy Farm Something to crow about. Let's give a shout. Without a doubt, you'll never run out of the family fun right here at Fantasy Farm. Wednesday is IGA 1095 a carload day with proof of purchase from any IGA product. Get details at your local IGA store. Friday is two admissions for the price of one with proof of purchase from any Pepsi product. You'll never run out of the family fun right here at Fantasy Farm. I'm now here between Middletown and Hamilton, Ohio to check out the Fantasy Diner. This is on the former location of the Americana or La Swordsville theme park. It went under those two names. And the property for the La Swordsville theme park is back there and it's really kind of a huge piece of property. They tore down the amusement park not that long ago, but there are still some remnants. I don't know if this diner used to be a part of the La Swordsville or not, whether it was always here, but we're gonna check it out because it, it looks really cool inside from all the pictures I've seen. All right, there's the sign. It says, good food, good people, ice cream, and diner. Look at this, and we've got, which looks like to be a carousel horse. Of a horse that has well, it's, a, it's from a carousel, I'm assuming. Yeah, but he's got horseshoes on his feet. But this is cool. This looks like it might have been a, a motel or something at one point, but... It was. Well, I didn't know. I've never been here. Oh, look, they've got like an outside seating area. That is cool. Really neat to still see a few remnants of the... Uh, the old theme park here. So sad that it closed and was torn down. Oh, yeah, that's great. Oh, they got a map. I'm gonna go check out this map in the back of the theme park. Coney Express. Well, it's got the theme park. That is so cool. You can see all the rides that used to be here. Almost like a, kind of like a duplicate of Coney Island, and I'm talking the one in Cincinnati, not in New York. Oh, so I was just told by the waitress that took my drink order that this used to be the gift shop for the Americana theme park. That is so cool here. We're gonna take a look at the menu now. All right, here's a look at the menu. Let's get a little bit of a close up on it so you can read it. Try and get all the glare off of it. Prices really are not that bad here. They're very affordable. And then, of course, they have breakfast all day. There's some of the appetizers, salads. That's it. Ow. That is so cool. Give you one look at the, the inside of the place. Oop. And here's a look outside the window. You can see the outside seating. Okay, you got, what is that? Potato cakes, sausage, egg, toast, and a piece of your pizza. Honest opinion of all of it. <clears throat> it was only like $6 for your thing and 7 for mine. $6.95, so, something like that. Yeah. For, for this. It's good. Yeah, did you like the pizza? It reminds me of carnival pizza, like well, you get at a fair. I never had it at a fair, so I don't know. No, it's just kind of buttery and greasy and yeah, crunchy, it's and it's crust, good. Yeah, the crust is very good on it. Yeah, I approve of it. That is good pizza. All right, we're going to the ice cream bar, and then I'm going to come back and finish my last piece of pizza. So I'm going to put it way over here because I don't want it to disappear. <laughs> I don't want my pizza to go disappear, but ice cream bar... Oh, wow, look at this. Hershey's ice cream. There's all your flavors. 
I'll take one of each. Well, look at that chocolate. <laughs> That's really good. Well, you gotta pick a flavor. Pick a flavor. Salty caramel chocolate. Little blue mm -hmm. Banana pudding ice cream. Cherry, rainbow sherbet, cotton candy. Got a lot of classic flavors. Key mm -hmm. lime. Is that the one you're gonna get? Pistachio. Yeah. Well. At the end. <laughs> That's too hard. Of... No, I'll get the key lime. Okay. Key lime, everyone. You can't even get it up on the spoon. That's because I'm a crazy old lady. I know. You got to do it crazy style. Oh, my goodness. That's really good ice cream. And flavor, it's got lots of flavor. Lots of key lime. Oh, wow, it's crazy approved. It is crazy. No, it's old lady approved. Oh, well, okay. Either, either way. Okay, bye. Yeah, see, they have all these pictures from the uh, previous theme park here. So I needed to come back on and clarify something. There were actually two parks that operated on this piece of property. There was the La Swordsville Lake theme park, which later became the Americana, which we saw in some of the maps earlier in the video. Then there was the Fantasy Farm, which was more of a kiddie park. Now, Fantasy Farm is where the restaurant was, and that makes sense why they call it the Fantasy Diner. So no, the restaurant wasn't the former gift shop for the Americana theme park, it was the former gift shop for the Fantasy Farm. Fantasy Farm would close in the early 90s, while Americana would close in the late 90s. Wow. All right, so we're beginning to lose light here, so I thought I would go outside and take a look at what's left of the theme park. There isn't much left, but um, it's still cool to see whatever remnants remain. Oh, I wonder if there's a crazy old lady in the window, in the window. <laughs> so um, these tables that are outside here kind of look like they might be original to the park, but I really don't know. But definitely you can see some remnants of the park over here. And these tables look like they might be from the park that are over here. Wow, look at that, this archway here. That is so great. Yeah, here's another look at the map. This one's kind of falling apart, but this looks like it might be all original too from the park when it closed. That is so awesome. Sad that the, uh, the lake doesn't exist anymore. I believe they filled it in, but you can get a look at what rides used to be here. And, of course, we are somewhere, somewhere over here, I believe. Because that's the entrance, which is torn down now. But that's where we, you would come in. And I think we're over here somewhere. Alright, so we got that classic archway there. I don't know if this was, like, another entrance or exit to the park, but I love all these colored... Um, picnic tables here. They're just kind of cool looking. And then of course we've got some old school playground equipment. I don't know what this, this must have been like a electrical hut where they had like generators or something in there. I'm not sure what this used to be used for. If any of you guys have any information on this place because I've only seen a few videos going over the history of this place, but it's it's been a while since I've watched any of them, so I, I can't really remember all the details of this theme park. But it used to be the Americana and then became La Swordsville. Man, these lights are so great. They're so 1950s and 60s. Like, wow. So yeah, this is like a little playground area. We got this little truck. Look at these flowers that are growing on here. Those are, those are gnarly. Wow, look at that. Beautiful sunset over there. I know that's gonna blind the camera. 
Just turn it down a little. There you go. Huh. Now, there's this pavilion over here that you can see. I'm wondering if this was for the bumper cars. This might have been bumper cars because I'm pretty sure they had bumper cars at one point. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh man, that sun. Woo! Wow, this is awesome. Yeah, this looks like it might have been bumper cars or something. Definitely was a ride. Yeah, you can see down here on the floor what looks like it used to be a track of some sort. Maybe like the ride vehicle went through here. Maybe it was like, like a, the whip, if you know what that ride is. You know what? But then this looks like it was a bar. I don't know. I'm really kind of confused as to what this was. Maybe someone down in the comments can let me know what this used to be. Because I'm not quite sure. All right. So this is the little motel that's on the property here. And it's been here for a long time. It has terrible reviews. But it looks kind of cool. And then all this property back out here that you're looking at used to be the Americana or La Swordsville Amusement Park. So there are several structures out here that I'm trying to get to because I'm very curious as to what they are or were. Wow, look at this, we have some railroad track remnants from a small little gauge railway probably the train that went around the park property and you can see the rails reappear down here I'm assuming this was the foundation for one of the buildings or the rides. You can see another building was up here. A fairly large building. All right, so there's this building here. Maybe it was like a snack or a little tiny gift shop or something. Although the main gift shop is the restaurant we were just in way back up there. Wow, isn't this so cool with all the vines all over it? That is so cool. It's in remarkably good condition for having sat here for all these years, just abandoned. I have no clue what that big blue thing is out there. Maybe that was a fountain at one point. Let's see if we can get a closer look. Yep, and I was absolutely correct. This used to be one of the fountains in the park. That is so cool. I am absolutely confused as to what this used to be or what it even is currently. I'm assuming it was some kind of a ride and this is all that's left of it. And that's probably why it doesn't make much sense, but wow, oh wow, look at that. All right, so all of this stuff that you see out here, which is now um, Butler Tech, which is a, uh, 
a college. That used to be the theme park, and the entrance used to be out that way for the theme park, which when I moved to the Cincinnati area, all that stuff was still here, but not anymore. I'm gonna check out this building. Now, this whole place used to be completely off limits. They would have huge signs all over the place that said no trespassing. So um, now that they've kind of converted this into a restaurant, there's the hotel, there's this college here, and off behind the trees there is like a, um, a little park that they just recently built. So I really don't think that um, the no trespassing stuff probably doesn't apply anymore. Anyways, I'm not going to try and go inside any of the buildings anyways, so the signs wouldn't apply anyways because I'm not going to go beyond the signs. But I do want to try and find, there's an iconic piece of theme park still left, a remnant that I want to try and find. I'm going to probably have to get in the car and drive. You guys, I just noticed this. This is Americana Amusement Park trash can. Very similar to the Kmart ones that I have, or the Kmart one I do have in my museum. Wow. So this is the Monroe Bicentennial Commons that they recently built here. Man, it is stinky over here. It smells like straight up sewage. The river is back off behind there, but there's a couple of things I wanted to take a look at while I was over here. Give you a little bit of tour before we head off. So yeah, this all used to be part of the amusement park as well. Of course, the stuff you're looking at right in front here in the middle of the screen is brand new. But everything off to the left or the right is remnants of the old theme park. This is so weird. It's like a playground, but it's under like... This almost looks like it would have been a carousel. I know it wasn't. Wow, look at that. That is cool. Huh. Well, at least they're using this piece of land for something useful. Whoa, look at that. That little thing right out there is a big piece of history. Oh, yeah. Yep, there it is. This is the only remaining remnant of the Sky Ride. And it used to take you, I believe it used to take you over the lake, which means... All of this out here would have been lake. Oh man, it still says sky ride on it and everything. They kept all the in the uh, mechanical parts here. You can see the uh, all the lever, the pulleys, and the wheels where the uh, wire would have wrapped around. Oh man, even some of the neon is still up there. Wow, I did not expect that. So yeah, you can see in the E, the neon. We've got all the electrical paneling here for it. Oh, on this side, we've got the Y and the D. Wow, fantastic. Oh, wow, it looks like we're about to have a train here going right through the middle of the former amusement park. Huh, that is awesome. Wow, wasn't expecting this. Well, now I'm kind of stuck here till the train passes at least.
So more than likely this train is coming out of the steel mill that's located up in Middletown. I mean, we are in Middletown right now, but a little more north of here, there's a, a big steel mill. Wow, that noise, ugh, that hurts your ears. If you'll notice on a lot of these cars, like right there, it says hot. I'm no train expert, so I kind of wonder what would they be transporting that's hot? I mean, I know these uh, cars more than likely came from the steel mill, so, but I couldn't imagine them transporting hot steel. Now, maybe they do. I mean, they're not slag cars, so they wouldn't be transporting that. I don't know, I'm sure someone that's uh, more of a train enthusiast than I am could leave a comment down below and let me know exactly what those cars are for. All right, so down here is the rest of the remnants from the park. You've got a couple of pavilions down here. And while this train is going by, I figured I would uh, come film them. Save some time because I can't get back across the tracks to leave anyway. So I'm assuming these would have been like all the picnic pavilions where they would have had all the picnic tables set up for guests to come out with their um, picnic lunches and enjoy themselves. Or maybe the food area was over here, I don't know. Well, there goes the end of the train. You can kind of see it way down there at the crossing gate where I was. I'm not going to run back there to catch it. Looks like over here on the left side of the path, we have some, some stands. Wow, look at this. This is fantastic. I love how old and decayed it looks. And you've got this big, I don't know, what was this? Is this a loudspeaker? Yeah. All the old footage of the park comes from a channel called Vid Wills Vids. If you'd like to see it in its entirety, I'll put a link in the description box below. Well, everyone, that's going to do it for today's episode. Boy, did it get humid all of a sudden. Anyways, I do content like this each and every week, Mondays and Fridays. Not Mondays and Fridays. What am I talking about? I'm on crack. Wednesdays and Fridays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and help destroy the YouTube algorithm. One like at a time. I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye, everyone.